Hey guys, this is Corey Bystead over at Bicious RV in Junction City, Oregon. I'm here to show you the North Trail 27 RLSS. So over here you can see we have a power tongue jack. It's got the light right here and it just goes up and down with buttons. It's really nice. And I'm making it on over. Oh, I'll show you the pass through bay. Shout out to my boy Kyle over there. Then you got the extended jacks that you can do with a motor. And they'll just come down as you push it. Uh, now you don't have to crank them anymore. And you got the extra door right here. This goes into your bedroom. So if you want to go straight into there, uh, you most certainly can. The steps just pull out, uh, classic style. And when you walk over here, you can see that the, um, the wheel span is actually spread out a little bit more. So when you have them further apart, this one being closer to the uh, tongue, you're going to have less tongue weight on your truck which is a benefit. Uh, when they're closer, you can get a little bit more swift and uh, 90 degree angles. Uh, it's just a little easier to do those things. You can still do them like this, but it's just a little tougher. You got another set of jacks in the back. And then if we make our way right up into the room, you can see we got the nice solid steps coming right up in. I'm gonna wipe my feet on the carpet. You got the um, side mounted heat duct. It's better on the side because when they're on the ground, you're constantly having to clean them out. It's also hard when they're in the ground too because they screw them in. There's no quick way to pull them out like there are at your house. Uh, when they screw them in, you have to like back the screw out just to get like hair out of the ground. So it's better on the side. What are you going to do? Put your shoe and like empty a bunch of dirt in there. You also have uh, your slide room control, awning control. You have a set of lights right here and a wall plug. Now coming on up inside, you can see the floor plan and the layout. You got two chairs right here and you have the big window in the very back. I love that big window. You have four cabinets above and then make your way over to the kitchen. You have some counter space here and then you have the one big sink right here. Got to peel the plastic out of that. And then um, you have the three burner cooktop, the oven right there. Above that, you have the microwave. This does have a light and a fan. Some storage right here. That goes pretty deep. I'll show it to you. And then to the left of your microwave, you have the refrigerator and the freezer. Separate door, which is nice. Here's your heater control and your AC stuff. Well, I won't go there yet. I was going to show you the, this is your entertainment stand setup. So this is where you're going to put a TV if you're going to do that. A lot of people don't even care about TVs. This might be the right rig for you because it's more oriented in forcing you to be with the family in the family room, not centered around the TV. So um, if that's your thing, uh, this is the right rig, I'm telling you. We didn't even stock it with a TV to appeal to that customer. Now over here you got the... Um, booth i couldn't figure out the word for a second there so you can just collapse the legs and slide it in a little groove there and it makes this into a bed when you do that which is awesome you also have this little seating area right here this does turn into a bed it pulls out and goes that way um, so you can have that one more i guess you'd have three beds if you count this this and then your bedroom so making our way towards the bedroom, we got to see the bathroom first. It's got the squared out shower, not the corner one. It's got a great counter space. You got a little storage cubby below the sink. You got one above the sink as well. And your toilet's right there. That is the porcelain. Plenty of room around your toilet space. This is the best bedroom. I love it. You have a king sized bed and you have walk around room on this side uh, you have this whole area you can put your phone all the way up to the end on both sides it'll do that I think it seems to favor this side a little more because the mattress is just slid but then you also have this cabinet space right here this one right here which goes all the way to the other side and copies you do have air in here this is going to be a duct from your main AC unit you can turn it to point it at your bed or however you want to operate that. 
And then finally, there's a closet right here to kind of like hang your stuff. You can put a TV in your bedroom right here too. They've made it strong enough for you to drill screws into that. They gave you hookups to hook that stuff up as well. Of course, you saw the door that was in there as well too. So if you have any questions about this rig at all or anything, don't call this guy. Call me because I showed it to you. 541-735-1535. Thank you.